Hey guys, I'm Riddhi Datta and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to see the top 10 startups that are hiring in India and that can be a great alternative to Fang and Microsoft. So I have curated around 10 companies for this video. However, there exist other good startups as well. If you want uh, more such videos, maybe I will come up with a part two of this video. So most of these companies are offering you a salary almost equivalent to Fang or sometimes even more than Fang. And some of these companies are also giving you amazing work-life balance and work culture. So without any further ado, let's get started with the top 10 startup companies hiring in India that can be a great alternative to Fang. So the 10th company in the list is PhonePay. I'm very sure this needs no introduction. You must be already using PhonePay uh, for paying the bills or maybe sending money to your friends and relatives. So PhonePay is having a great work-life balance and work culture. It is solving some of the best engineering problems out there. Uh, it is also expected to go IPO by next year. That is 2023. Compensation wise, it is also pretty decent and it offers a great base salary. For SD1, you can expect a base salary of 15 to 18 lakhs. And for SD2, I've seen a lot of people getting 60 lakhs plus in hand with a base of around 40 plus lakhs again most of these salaries you have to negotiate and it also depends on a lot of other parameters but yeah phone pay offers a great compensation according to the market standards so when it comes to the interview process for sd1 uh, you generally need to go to an online coding round post that you will be going through some technical rounds and a hiring manager round where you would be mostly getting asked questions from dsa which would be your medium level and also you would be getting grilled a lot on your projects for sd2 the first round would be a machine coding round right uh, and post that once you clear the machine coding round of one and a half to two hours you have to like present your uh, solution to a panel which will be around 30 minutes to 45 minutes round post that you will be going to a couple of technical rounds and hiring manager round where you would be asked a couple of questions from DSA and HLD LLD okay so the ninth company in the list is Gojek so Gojek is an Indonesian on-demand multi-service platform and digital payment technology group based in Jakarta Indonesia Gojek was first established in Indonesia in 2009 as a call center to, to connect consumers to courier delivery and two-wheeled ride hailing services so the average salary for an SD1 revolves around 20 to 25 lakhs and for SD2, it can go up to 50 lakhs or sometimes even more depending on the offers you have in hand and the other parameters I always mention in my other videos. For SD1, uh, you would be going through three or four interview rounds where you would be mostly asked DSA. A lot of questions would also be asked on your sales fundamentals, uh, database design, OOPS principles, right? You will also be expected to go through a code pair round where you would be coding with an interviewer and primarily would be focused on your OOPS design principles and skills. With that note, if you haven't checked out my LED playlist where I'm covering design patterns using java do go and check it out i will attach the link in description down below for sd2 rounds you know they do not focus much on dsa there would be one machine coding round and post that there will be a lot of design discussions uh, that would be going on uh, so normally for sd2 especially what i've seen according to the interview experience that i have gone through they generally tend to focus a lot on real world problems rather than lead code style problem the work-life balance is pretty much team dependent and their offices in india is located in bangalore but they have a great work culture and a lot of interesting projects to work on so the eighth company in the list is rippling and their tech stack is majorly django based in the back end the major reason for choosing rippling in this list is because of their great compensation right they provide you a lot more compensation than fang and sometimes for sd2 i even seen their compensation going above 70 lakhs and in general it revolves between 60 to 75 lakhs in hand it is not a listed company yet probably expected to be going for ipo in 2023 the interview process is pretty hard and you would be getting a hard dsa questions with a lot of focus on dynamic programming and graphs and the work-life balance at rippling is generally not good it's bad according to their employees however there might be some exceptions so if you're working in rippling please don't hesitate to share your experience in the comments down below the sixth company in the list is media.net so media.net is a leading online ad tech company that develops innovative products for advertisers and publishers its offices in india are primarily located in mumbai and bangalore salary wise it provides a pretty decent amount especially for sd1 and freshers uh, you can expect around 29 lakhs in hand as a fresher and, and your base is above 20 lakhs it is not a listed company right uh, so most of the component is going to be a cash component at an sd2 level you can also expect a compensation of around 40 to 50 uh, in hand but again these numbers go, might go up and down depending on the offers you have and a couple of other scenarios work-life balance is generally team dependent although i've heard it's generally great work culture is also really really great in media.net it used to be a direct type company and as a result obviously the culture is great over there its tech stack is primarily java in the back end and it's kind of hard to crack media.net interviews because they ask tough dsa questions if you see on a fresher level uh, i would suggest the cp is recommended because i've seen a lot of competitive programmers getting in into media.net 
Net, a lot of focus would be on dynamic programming graphs, right? As a fresher, they would also ask you questions on computer science fundamentals, projects, and for SD2 level, you would be getting grilled on high level design, low level design, and also one round of coding, which would again be a hard DSA question. Now, the fifth company in the list is cred i'm very sure again this company also needs no introduction at all so it is a members only credit card bill payment platform that rewards its members for clearing their credit card bills on time and we already know its founder kunal shah who is pretty famous amongst the youngsters and also we do love the cred ads a lot their offices are located in bangalore and their work culture and work life balance is generally pretty good what i've seen is they generally hire for specialized roles like back end engineers front end engineers and android engineers and which i feel is really great because you are knowing that there is this is the exact field i would be working on for sd1 you can expect a base of around 20 lakhs right and for sd2 you can expect a base somewhere between 35 to 40 lakhs but again these numbers keep on going up and down a bit you are expected to go through a machine coding round and along with that if uh, for an sd2 level you are also expected to go through like hld and ld and also one round of problem solving and one round of hiring manager round so the fourth company in the list is one of my favorites swiggy again this is a food delivery app and i'm very sure you guys already must be ordering uh, your favorite food from the swiggy app now they've also launched a new division within their app that is instamart where you can get groceries delivered to your doorstep it has an amazing work life balance and work culture and the tech stack is mostly java it is a fully remote company though its office is in bangalore both as an sd1 or sd2 are expected to go through a machine coding round in swiggy apart from that you would be getting asked dsa question which would be of lead code medium level and if you are applying for an SD2 role and above definitely you have to go through system design rounds both HLD and LLD for an SD1 the compensation is generally around 28 to 30 lakhs in hand and for SD2 the compensation is generally around 40 to 50 lakhs in hand and again as i said these numbers are pretty volatile So the next company in the list is Confluent. So Confluent is building the foundational platform for data in motion so any organization can innovate and win in a digital first world. So basically it is infrastructure as a service. It deals with petabytes of data so the scale of work is really really good over there. It is a remote first company which means you get 100% work from home option though it is located in Bangalore and Pune in India. The back end is mostly Go and Java and work life balance and work culture is decent over there. Also the compensation is pretty much according to the industry standards and in the interviews you would be most expected to do problem solving that is dsa of lead code medium level and also system design if you are applying for an sd2 level and above so the next company in the list is zeta suit so zeta is the world's first omni stack for credit cards a single stack for origination processing frm rewards loans apis and apps its office is located in bangalore as a fresher you can expect a salary of 29 to 30 lakhs it is a direct i group company so again it is very similar to media.net and for an sd2 you can expect 45 to 50 lakhs of salary it has got amazing work culture work life balance and one of the best engineering minds to work with you would be expected to go through machine coding rounds as well as medium to hard level of dsa for both sd1 and sd2 roles and also for sd2 roles you also need to go through system design rounds so the second company in the list is postman So Postman is an API platform for building and using APIs. I'm very sure you must have used Postman if you're a software developer or a tester. It's a remote first company with its offices in Bangalore. It has unlimited leaves and a lot of employee benefits. It also provides free lunch and breakfast. It is not a listed company so you can expect around 20 to 25 lakhs for SD1 is base and 35 to 45 lakhs for SD2 in hand. You are expected to go through machine coding rounds as well as DSA as well as system designing for applying for SD2 roles but the work life balance at Postman is not that great. And the first company in the list is one of my favorites that is Airbnb. I am very sure you must have used Airbnb for hotel booking while traveling. It is primarily located in Gurgaon and Bangalore and and it is one of the best companies boasting of an amazing work life balance and work culture. Also it is a remote first company and a very very employee centric company and it provides you two whole weeks off during the month of December. You are expected to go through four to five technical rounds and you would be grilled a lot on your DSA on system design as well as on your projects. The benefits at Airbnb are also really great. You get a travel credit of 600 USD per year, 40 plus leaves including casual sick and their compensation is also really really on the higher side. You can expect in and salary of 60 to 70 lakhs for SD2 roles. So again Airbnb is one of the top notch companies to work for out there. Having said that, it's a wrap for this video. If you have liked this video, don't forget to smash the like button and comment down below your favorite startup uh, that is hiring in India. Also, if you are in a startup, also don't forget to share your experience. Also, do comment down below if you want a part two of this video because there are a lot of other good companies as well which I couldn't mention in this video. Also, don't forget to check out my graph and NLD playlist and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I will attach the link in description down below. Having said that, I wish you a good bye over here. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one.